Hello, everyone, and happy Wednesday. My name is Zachary Lupin, and I'm an avionics reliability engineer here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for today's Starlink mission, which marks SpaceX's 26th launch of the year and 225th overall mission to date. Now, today we're sending another 46 Thanks Starlink satellites to check. orbit. And as a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Now, despite the foggy views on your screen, weather is looking good for liftoff today. The range is also ready to support, and we are proceeding with a T-0 time of 6.40 a.m. Pacific time from Vandenberg Space Force Base at Pad 4 East in California. And the teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. Now, while it's a bit foggy, adjacent to our Falcon 9 rocket is the Transporter Erector, or TE, which has clamp arms currently holding the rocket in place. Those clamp arms are currently opening, and those are around the payload fairing. And once those clamp arms are fully opened, the transporter erector will recline away from the Falcon 9 vehicle. And there you can see that transporter erector slowly reclining away from the rocket. And coming up next, uh, in the next few seconds, we should hear that stage one has completed liquid oxygen loading. Stage one, lock flow complete. At T minus three minutes, the Falcon 9 first stage is fully loaded with RP1 and locks, and awaiting completion of locks load on the second stage in about 50 seconds from now. And once that is complete, this will conclude propellant loading on the vehicle. Now, normally, we would see some white clouds around the vehicle. Uh, during propellant loading, we vent cold gas that forms above the LOX tank surface. And what you see and may be able to hear from time to time is a result of that cold gas coming into contact with the warmer California air and then condensing. Now we should hear a call out shortly for second stage locks load completing on the vehicle. And at that point in time, Falcon 9 will be fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. The booster you see on your screen is flying for the 13th time today, having previously supported NASA's Crew 1 and 2, stage Series two, XM8. CRS-23, XP, Transporters 4 and 5, Global Star FM-15, Aero C-3, and three Starlink missions. After liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is currently stationed in the Pacific Ocean. Falcon 9's in startup. There's that call out that Falcon 9 is in startup. And next we should hear that the launch director will be go for launch. LD is go for launch. And as you just heard, the launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. So let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 46 Starlink satellites into space. Hold, hold, hold. Launch abort has started.
Now, if you've been tuning into the webcast, you may have heard the hold during the countdown given just a few seconds ago. Now, prior to that, the countdown was proceeding nominally, so please stand by while we check in with the team to see if we can get more information. And on count one, we're proceeding with propellant offload. Uh, scrub was due to probability of landing failure. As you might have heard, we have called a hold due to probability of landing failure today at T minus 16 seconds. Keep in mind that the purpose of the countdown is to help us catch potential issues prior to flight. And there are a thousand ways a launch can go wrong and only one way it can go right. Now, given that, we are overly cautious on the ground, and if the team or the vehicle sees anything that just looks even slightly off, they'll stop the countdown. I again, the vehicle and the payload are in good health, but this will end our launch attempt for today, and we will be trying again tomorrow. Uh, please check our social media accounts for the updates there. And hopefully you'll join us. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.